Virgo, hope you're doing well. My name is Vince. This is 7D Tarot. Virgo, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead, like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empat Tarot. And stay tuned till the end of your reading where we'll use oracle cards and pull your affirmation for today and a final message from the universe tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in, see what we got going on. Right now, the universe is telling you there's an energy block. This energy block could be a love block, a money block, but it's causing resistance. What resists persists. And the universe is telling you in order to get out of this energy block, all you have to do is alignment first, action second. That is the formula. Your reality is a reflection of your dominant vibration. By controlling your dominant vibration, you'll be able to conquer your world. World. And I'll show you how to do that. Like for example, I make sure my dominant vibration is me visualizing a vision of the future. I visualize myself 10 years down the road making $10 million a month, right? From day trading. When I have that as my dominant vibration, every single thing I do consciously, subconsciously, universe wise, there's a blueprint made that puts me there, that takes me there. Every single step that I take, every single thought that I take, whether I know it or not, I am getting uh, steps closer to, the, to my goal. And that is exactly what the universe wants from you. The universe is telling you, elephant spirit, learn from the past. You collected a lot of data before in the past, a lot of ups and downs. You know what you want and what you don't want. Use that energy, right? Right now, the past is only good to see how far you've come from. Don't go into the past and be in a familiar energy or go to the predictable future, go to the vision of the future. Because right now you have a choice. Right now the past is depression, but the vision of the future is euphoria, is joy or bliss. This is a choice. Which one are you going to choose, right? This is up to you. Remember, because of free will, your angels cannot make you choose this. But if you choose the right decision here, which you will, then good things will come. Now, are you gonna choose it today, tomorrow, or 10 years from now? I suggest you choose it right here, right now, right? Start focusing on the vision of the future and everything will start getting effortless for you. Right now, the universe is telling you, trust in the magic, trust that the universe will take care of this for you, trust that your angels and guides love you, but that really means don't focus on the third dimensional energy, but more on the mystical, spiritual, and quantum energy of the fifth dimension, which is really vibration, frequency, and energy, which really means stop worrying about stuff that's here in the third dimension, and instead start focusing on being able to attach an emotion to an expectation and that is how you use brain and heart coherence and tap into the infinite reality and draw that manifestation to you like a vortex everything gets super duper easy now universe is also telling you that it is time to get grounded universe wants you to be nice and grounded intuitive get into the flow state because that is how you make your life effortless and by being grounded that means mind body and soul the things that will get you grounded are going for a walk being in nature, eating healthy, waking up early, learning something, giving compliments, laughing, dancing, singing. You see where I'm going with this? You already know all this stuff in your soul, but you have to apply it, right? All the words that I said, none of them were about you worrying or getting on the phone, none of this stuff, right? You gotta go back to a time where you can grab a pen and paper and journal. You gotta go to a time where you can close your eyes and meditate for five minutes. Easiest thing you'll ever do. When you start doing this, the universe is telling you, that you are going to be in a dominant vibration where people will find you more confident, right? That is how you are start networking, collaborating with others. That is how your life will get effortless rather than efforted. And the universe is telling you that your thoughts create but your emotions confirm. So you have to really start emitting that vibration you're trying to attract. So for example, when someone wants to date you, when someone wants to hire you, when someone wants to promote you, they need to feel some surge of confidence from that person, right? Why would someone want to entangle with you. It's really because they feel like their life will get enhanced as if you're a part of it. And that's what's going on here. The universe is telling you that there's an energy here that has to get cleared. There is some limiting belief, some sort of doubt, some second guessing yourself. This energy has to go and the universe is reminding you that you are a magnet, attract wisely. As a magnet, you cannot turn the switch on and off. You are a magnet 24 seven, uh, uh, 24 seven you know, 365 days a year. You are a magnet all day, all night, but you do control what you 
emit them what you attract you control for example you know are you going to attract abundance or or, or scarcity all right now the universe is telling you to embrace the in between if you've been waiting for something to happen it is going to happen but you can't be attached to the outcome or event you have to be you know in love with the journey or process and that is how you are grateful and appreciative for what you currently have because abundance only flows where appreciation goes i repeat abundance only flows where appreciation goes so by being appreciative grateful thankful excited this is the cheat code the secret sauce of letting abundance know you're ready. And I'll give you an example. Treat abundance as if it's a person. If you are trying to date abundance and abundance is a person and they're attracted to gratefulness and appreciation, what would you do? I'd be walking around abundance like, oh my goodness, I'm so appreciative and grateful all day, all night, right? Because I know that's gonna woo them. Same thing with the universe. If you know the universe wants to give you abundance and it's attracted to someone who's thankful, what do you gotta do? Be thankful. Right now the universe is telling you, First and foremost, get in alignment, mind, body, and soul. You know, you will see clearly now. You will know exactly what to do. And then at that point, start taking action steps, not before it. And remember, let go of the how and focus on the why. And that is going to help you identify that emotion to the expectation. And what that really means is don't tell yourself, how am I going to meet my soulmate? How am I going to get rich? Instead, tell yourself, why do I want to meet my soulmate? Why do I want to get rich? This is completely different energy. The reason for why, for example, why do you want to meet your soulmate? To experience stuff. You want to have someone to watch a sunset with. You want to enjoy a meal with someone, experience. Why do you want to get rich? Freedom. You want to have the freedom to fly first class. You want to have the freedom to say, no, I'm not coming to work. When you start attaching an emotion to the expectation, now you're becoming the cause and effect. You're singing your own song. You're the one in charge. And now that energy right there, this is where you are in the driver's seat and you're not waiting for something. And that's what's going on. The universe is telling you that the waiting game that has been going on has to go. You don't have the luxury of waiting. Don't tell yourself, I will wait to have a gym buddy to go exercise. Go do it now. Don't tell yourself, I will wait to ask my boss for promotion when something good happens. No, get confident, You know, get a little good sleep, get some good food, go hit the gym, and then go ask your boss and understand that the universe has your back. It's had your back since day one, but in order for them to help you, your angels and guides, you have to radiate the energy you want to attract. This is the only way. I'll give you an example. Imagine if you wanted to go inside a door and imagine if there was a, a, a door uh, code or something like a, like a fob that you had to use and the fob was energy in order to go inside the door you would have to feel like you've already gone in you would feel it and then it would open same thing here in order for your angels and guides to give you direction and tell you what to do you have to feel as if they've already helped you and been like oh thank you universe for all that help that i wanted boom now they're able to help you it's a sense of relief and right now the universe is reminding you you are never alone so many good things await you you are filled with abundance you're a high frequency high energy being that's about to have a really good time in your life but in order for this to happen you got to make sure that you're letting go of the limiting beliefs doubts and shadows you're not associating yourself to your bills worries thoughts bodies feelings you're none of those things you are beautiful light ray in a body in a vehicle that has a genetic cap of 120 years which is fine because you will get reincarnated to something even better this is normal you've done this thousands of times but you have to welcome and embrace this energy and not second guess the universe you the universe does not need a babysitter the pizza guy doesn't need a babysitter the amazon doesn't need a babysitter if they don't need a babysitter i promise you the universe definitely does not need a babysitter it is much more confident and it will always deliver all right we're going now let's tap into your affirmation for today i want you to write down the following affirmation in the comment section and let the universe know you are ready write down the following words exactly as shown here i am open and willing to live my life in new ways write this down in the comment section right now I am open and willing to live my life in new ways. You're telling the universe, I know what this lesson is. I no longer have to learn it. Please bring me something new. I would like to put this behind me. I am open and willing to live my life in new ways. This is how you get abundance. Like this video and write this, write this uh, uh, affirmation down in the comment section and let the universe know that you are 100% ready. And remember, affirmation means effortless attention. Easiest thing you'll ever do to cast a spell and let the universe know I am open and willing to live my life in new ways and attract that vibration to you all right now final message from the universe <laughs> yeehaw you know the universe got some jokes 
The message is, when it comes to choosing who will be in your life, I recommend valuing their yeehaw quality above all others. Have it your way. Special orders don't upset us. Right now, universe is telling you what is magic, right? What is some? What does someone do that really brings a smile to their face? Focus on that. Everyone's got you know good traits. Everyone's got you know stuff that they're working on. Don't worry about the stuff that someone's not perfect in. They're human and they're going you know they're on their own spiritual journey. But you got to remember, everyone has something beneficial. Someone is a good storyteller. Someone is a good listener. Someone is a, a good experience giver. Someone is very you know has very good energy. Find what that person has. Focus on that. Forget the rest. It means nothing. The rest is all noise and instead quantum entangle with that energy and then you'll notice wow that's the only thing you'll see from that person and then you'll want to be around them and you're when you're around someone you learn from them and that is telling the universe i want more collaborations and networking all right virgo hope you enjoyed your reading hope there was a message in here for you if there was like this video and subscribe i truly appreciate you till next time follow your passion